Ahoy, ye mateys! Stephanie here on my Buccaneer. Today, I would like to share with you a friendly ladder match I played with Sarcastic Joseph Iveson. So for those of you who don't know, Joseph also has his own YouTube channel. It is called Dragon Fighter 1P, and you can find uh, videos going all the way back to two years ago. He does not have that many subscribers just because his recording equipment is not that great. So I think he would appreciate me posting this match for him. He mains Swashbuckler, so let me just show you the set that I ran against him. I was using my hybrid set, so fort here, heal here, hide here, and I just got this pet to level 70. It didn't get exactly what I wanted. I would have preferred Rally, but it does have Scent too, and Burst Fire, Relentless, and Turn the Tide. So that works really well with this weapon, which uh, combined with the Uncanny Shot eye patch is really good against Swashbucklers because they have very very high dodge. Then I also had a fort here, uh, shield and vicious charge, and shield and super strike. So yeah, hope you enjoy this match. He is a strength based swashbuckler which is really interesting. So this is his set. He uses, um, I'm actually gonna use an agility based team just cause I think it'll be fun. Like, I'm playing Buccaneer, which is a strength class, and he's playing Swashbuckler, which is an agility-based class. But he really enjoys, for some reason, using an all-Buccaneer team, so I want to use an all-Swashbuckler team just cuz. Yeah, so Fort here, Strength Robe, Fort there. This is his pet that gives us Shark's Fury. and. Uh, Craven Blade, which gives Blade Storm, so he has Blade Storm 1, Relentless 2, uh, Elusive 3, Turn the Tide, uh, Stat Gear, Hide and Assassin, Purge, Assassin, and Poison. So, yeah, those are his three Buccaneer units. I've played him a couple of times on my privateer, we've both beaten each other about an equal amount of times, um, and... This is the first time I'm fighting him on Buccaneer. <laughs> Well, since you like using an all plug in your team, I think it's funny, Buccaneer using an all Swashbuckler team and Swashbuckler using an all Buccaneer team. <laughs> Very unique for sure. What? He has barricades trained? That's so interesting. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to reduce that.
Wait, can his unit still come out? No, I don't think they can. They are trapped inside. So like, he could... Yeah, I don't think he can kill my pirate this turn. So I'm just gonna reduce the Temujin. So no, I mean, I guess he could purge my buffs, but then he can't combo that with anything, so just because of the way his units are trapped inside. He could also fog and send both of the horses after me, but I have a strength buff up and a call to arms so I could vengeance strike them. I also have a Triton Song. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's gonna fog. Probably gonna... Try to get lucky. Okay, he's gonna reduce my accuracy. Have that horse uh, go for the super. However, I am in, in tight and elusive right now. So... Okay, what I'm gonna do now is have Contessa guard me. That pet does not have webs, right? Yep, yeah, that's right. It does have scent, so Contessa's hide might get removed if I'm unlucky. Let's see. My pet has scent too, though. Oh, your pet removed Contessa hide. But it also blocked off a space, so only <laughs> one of his units can access me this turn. <laughs> He's that smart. Well, he's pretty dang smart too. And he can't move because my pet has scent too. So like if he moves out, then his fog will get removed. <laughs> okay, you fought on his strength buff. He's gonna try to- yeah, he's using the Vicious Charge <clears throat> on Contessa to reduce her accuracy. Okay, he used the other super on Contessa, will probably overpower her. Let's see- oh, he's storming on the pet. Okay, that's lucky. My Contessa survived. 
And he's okay. He's using Subodai to kill the scent pet, which is important. All right. Um, I think I should shield again. I'm gonna drop this. Contessa can just finish uh, him and I want to use this on the pirate so I'm gonna have Kobe do this yeah I forgot his guru doesn't have vengeance. Whoops. I was counting on the first strike to go off. Hold on. Oh wait, he does. Why didn't... Maybe it already got used up. Whoops. Wasn't paying full attention. Um... Okay, that was a smart way to kill Contessa. Okay, since his pirate is still hidden, what I'm gonna do now is hide and then heal. I mean, or I could also he heal now because like he is gonna poison me. He is an assassin shroud. Yeah, this can be bad. I agree. Well, I'm actually gonna heal right now. Uh, reduce the strength on that one. Because my health is too low, I can't risk. Okay, Goro's gone. If he shrouds this turn, then I will hide. Or I could run, that's another option. Okay, you went for the assassin, which is an interesting choice.
Oh wow. Oh wow, that removes the heal too. No. It was still gonna heal. Oh. Well, you learn something every day, haha. <laughs> should have played a bit faster and not used the smaller shields but used the bigger ones. Yeah, GG. It was a fun one. <laughs> so I think the main mistake I made in that match was not using my 50% shield and instead using the 25% ones because I was hoping to stack them but uh, Joseph has a very very fast paced style so I really should have um, used my better resources more quickly and then another thing I noticed too is that um, the build that I currently have for Kobe it's first strike 3 Relentless 2 and Repulse 2, but I'm actually going to reset him and go for Blade Storm 2 because I think that would work better Like if I want to uh, strategically chain down one unit. So like if Kobe would have been able to eliminate one of the horses, that would have been helpful. Like Repulse is better for reacting, but I think this build is probably better. It's just personal preference. Some people prefer Repulse too, but I think I'm gonna run this build for now and see how I like it. But yeah, that was a very interesting match. It's not every day that you see a Buccaneer running an all Swashbuckler team and a Swashbuckler running an all Buccaneer team. So that was definitely very fun to do. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.